Hi guys and uh, well, welcome to the much anticipated Soft Tears volume review. As far as I know, I think I am the first one to actually have it and review it. Well, not to have it, but at least to review it. My one is number A0073, so I think that's my lucky number, I guess. Anyway, I'm just going to take you through the unboxing because it's, it's something that is really... Um, it's really worth it because you know uh, soft tears they, they do their work when it comes to that um, sleeve box uh, if I can open it up let me see oh this thing is fighting me oh my god come on you don't want to open you don't want to open I cannot believe ah okay there we go anyway as you can see well the IMs came over there uh, then this lifts up like so and inside you have all the tips you can possibly want and dream of in the world um, There we go Got all these tips um, It's got a nice cleaning tool and an like extra bag for I guess tips or something uh, manual um, I mean it brings the whole nine yards yeah, so in that aspect, no, no skimping of uh, of accessories or anything. Oh, the one thing I don't have actually uh, with me, I actually don't know where I put the cable. To be honest with you, um, the cable is okay. It's fine, but uh, I mean honestly, it, it's a cable. Um, well, this is not going to say much, I guess, but it's a cable along the lines of this cable here from uh, from TFC. So it's it's all it's in a full black cable. That's the only difference. But anyway, it's it's a very simple cable. It's nothing special. And uh, to be honest with you, that's the only real detail that I'm gonna point as a negative. I would have liked uh, for a nicer cable. You know, considering uh, the IEM it is and everything. It brings a nice carrying case. Um, okay, which I'm obviously using. Um, and um, well, the IEMs themselves. The green mambas are oh, beautiful. I mean, seriously, the, the the this jade green or emerald green or whatever has been beautifully, you know, really nice choice. Um, if anything, I mean, the faceplate is classy and everything. Uh, if I am to nitpick or something, I would have liked to have seen something along the lines of maybe what um, Dance Jim did with the with the prism. It would have been nice to have seen just a little extra detail on the faceplate because the actual shell itself is very nice you know and it would have been nice to have carried on through that detail onto the onto the um, faceplate uh, as for the drivers it's well as, as some of you might already know it's a one plus two hybrid so it sports a 10 millimeter uh, beryllium dynamic driver of 10 millimeters redundant what I just said but anyway so it's it's got a 10 millimeter uh, beryllium driver for the base and then it's got two custom BAs uh, for for mids and highs uh, which exactly the models or whatever I don't know as for the cable that um, I'm using I'm using a silver silver plated nice HK cable um, and only simply because I didn't have an XI NHS I usually use XI NHS but I just didn't have one well, I do, but it was busy with another IEM, so I just put on this uh, nice HK silver one. Anyway, that's basically what the IEM looks like. In terms of fit, perfect. I have nothing to say. I'm using uh, stock tips, uh, large size. Um, it fits beautifully. Isolation is is perfect. Um, I mean, uh, honestly, in that aspect, flawless. Uh, well at least for my ears I guess I'm guessing maybe if you got smaller ears there could be some issues but it fits very nicely and actually and with regards to small ears I actually tried them out uh, with my wife and she's got small ears and uh, she didn't complain either it stuck out a little bit fair enough but it fit nicely and and, and uh, it stayed secure in the ears so in terms of fit fine isolation fine and uh, yeah that that's that's in a nutshell basically what it is anyway on to what we all want to know and how does it sound and, and what is it about and you know all of that 
well, to cut a long story short, and I'm going to try and go by parts. When we're talking of, of a product of this nature and of this price, obviously, you know, you, 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 there's expectations. But when the name soft tears is mentioned, those expectations, uh, you know, at, at least are 95 percent guarantee that they will be good because um, they have a reputation. So they don't they don't they cannot run the risk of making something that is not going to be good. And all of this to say what? That this is, in my opinion, one of the best uh, one plus two hybrids currently available if not the best. Um, I haven't had the chance to, to hear the Tanschim Prism, which would probably be the, 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 the fairest comparison uh, or, the mo or the closest comparison to, to this. But I seriously, seriously doubt that the Prism justifies uh, twice the price of the volume uh, by being twice as good. I just, I don't believe it is. Um, since I do not have some IEMs that I would have liked to have had to co to make this comparison, I decided to, to use the stuff that I have and, and, and some of it will be known by many of you so it, it will give a good basis of what the volume is about. And I'm talking of course of what? Talking of the Sure uh, EJ07M which many of you probably have and, and know what it's about. Talking about uh, the poor man's top of the line uh, IEM, the Moondrop variations. And when I say poor man's, I mean, this is probably the IEM for those that cannot afford to go above five, six hundred dollars will make the most sense in terms of how versatile and how complete it is. And, and uh, I'm not the only one that says that. Um, the volume, of course. Uh, I had to, for good measure, I had to include the the um, the oxygen uh, simply because, in terms of tonality, timbre, and and so on and so forth, it it it, it it's just got something about it that that's it. Uh, you know, it, it's always always a good good comparison. Uh, and I had to put what I consider to be currently. Uh, well, at least of the IMs that I have, it's it's the best all BA IM that I have. It's the Aur Audio Neon, and I had to to put it in here. You know, those that know me know that I don't usually like comparing BA uh, uh, BAs with uh, all BA sets with uh, single DDs, and I like thing I like to keep things equal. You know, um, you go to a gunfight with a gunfight. You don't go to a gunfight uh, with a knife. Uh, having said that. Any one of these IMs uh, is spectacular in its own right. They are flawless. Uh, the, you know the, the negatives that any one of these IMs have are so 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 small that um, you know you you really would be nitpicking and, and, and really pushing it to kind of oh, oh my god this is terrible. No, um, I don't. Well, actually, you know what? Let me just show you some some a graph, and then I'll talk about some music, and and I'll say how it kind of sounds in all of these IEMs. I think that's probably the best best way to go about this. Anyway, so let me let me show you here some graphs so we can kind of see what's going on here with the um, with the volume. Okay, so. Um, let me get all of them out except for the volume. So the volume is number four. So let me take out all of the others. There we go. Okay. So that's that's the curve of the soft ears uh, volume. My my one. And as you can see. Um, I would say this is a. I'm not going to say it's a V because it stays, it stays within everything stays within more or less a 10 dB um, margin. Um, I would say this is a, a warm, 
a warm um, harmonish kind of uh, tuning um, sub bass mid bass and the 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 entry into the mids are flawless flawless it's it's really really that good um, the peak there at 8k I I'm I would I would attribute it to a couple of related thing and then the extension past ta past 10 is perfect I mean the first thing that I well you know that caught my attention when I put the the volume on uh, to to hear for the first time was how um, how effortless and how detailed the sound was those two things immediately jumped to mind and I heard uh, a song called Passing Time by Christopher Goes uh, and the the amount of detail uh, from the guitar on, 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 that, on that particular song and I'll, I'll post the song afterwards uh, at the end of the review so you guys can check it out is just surreal, it's just absolutely unreal um, another one that I heard was as, as well Reverend Green, uh, Jeff uh, Lorber the detail in this song as well uh, you know when you hear it with the volume is, is, is tremendous it, it is really something else um, you have to hear it, um, and and in and in terms of instruments, that was the the, the the thing that immediately, you know, jumped to me, and and I was like, wow, this thing plays instruments really really well, and it does. Um, out of all the IMs that I have here, um, and 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 you know, please keep in mind that the the, the differences here are minimal. I mean. Come on, guys. You know we're not talking about. I'm not comparing stuff like I'm not comparing this to an MT1 or or, or to or to an EDX. And I'm I'm comparing every one of these IMs is um, f flawless, and 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 when I say this differences, the differences are minor, minor, minor differences. But if I have to choose um, uh, two other IMs out of all of these. That really have that amount of, of, of detail like the volume has, it's the variations and the neon, definitely. Um, they, you know, they just, the, the detail in the variations is, is uh, unreal. Uh, if anything, the only thing that I think that variations sometimes might lose out into the volume is the fact that it's got a slightly less mid bass, and I'll just show you. Okay, that's the variations there. So it's got slightly less mid bass, and you will notice it uh, in in certain songs. As for the sub bass, uh, you might you know by looking at the graph think, oh, it's got less less sub bass than the volume. The, the volume's got more sub bass. No, it doesn't. Uh, when you actually, I, I've got I'm using a one K as a reference point for all the measurements. Um, but when you hear it, the sub bass on on the variations is on a different level, you know, it, it really is. Um, I mean, even with the EJ, and the EJ also has a kind of a similar curve with this real um, emphasis on the sub bass and then nice and, and, and smooth into the, into the, you know, into the mid bass and, and even with the EJ, the, 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 the amount of sub bass on, on, the, on the moon drop is, um, is really much more pronounced. Um, let me just take out the EJ here. Okay. So yeah, you know, as compared to the variations, um, the the thing that yes does jump to you in, in terms of um, first impression is how um, how detailed the sound is, uh, which also the variations is. Um, and how um, how it's 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 a very lively, very open. It's it's, it's I'm 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 gonna say this forward. I'm gonna say forward, but it's very open, very open the sound. Um, obviously, it has to do with the amount of uh, then I guess power you're gonna give it, and and um, the variations can can scale. Very, in my opinion, at least, can scale very nicely. And, and you know you, you, once you've balanced it out then uh, things equal out a little bit more but if you have like a, a set and I was using my DX3 Pro if you have a set volume and you're just taking one and putting the other on you you notice there's a difference in uh, volume from one to the the other so uh, the, the, the soft ears does play louder let's get let's say that from the get-go 
but once you actually start cranking them up, it evens up quite uh, quite equal. It becomes quite equal. Uh, so, as I was saying, um, in terms of, of of you know details of of instruments and and detailed retrieval and everything, the 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 softiers is is really something else. Another IEM that uh, I put up because I wanted to have an idea of what, you know, because the tonality as well strikes me as being extremely correct. Uh, and, and my reference for that is the, the, the oxygen. So I, you know, got the oxygen out and put on the oxygen and let's see what, what, that, what that gave us. So let me take out the moon drop here. And let me just change the color here of the oxygen to a color that can be more noticeable. There we go. That's it. And as you can see, you know, uh, a curious little fact or detail or whatever you want to, is the fact that the, 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 the very much the base, um, you know, sub -base, ba base, transition into the mids, up to about one, just over 1K, they follow each other quite nicely. Um, and then, obviously, one being a single DD and the other one being a uh, a hybrid you notice that although in the graph it seems that you have a lot of equal amount of energy up top and everything no you don't the the or, or let me rephrase that you have the, the loads of energy on both but the, the 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 way that the treble you know the way that you have above i'll say from 5k up the way that the soft tears does all of that is it's just got all this crispness, all this detail, which is it's very very engaging. It's it's quite uh, intoxicating actually. Um, in terms of tonality, which was the main reason that I, I took out the oxygen, um, I think the oxygen slightly edges out the the soft ears in terms of of male voices. Uh, female voices, no. Female voices, I found the soft ears to be to be superior uh, and the correctness of the instruments as well um, I, I'm gonna give it I'm gonna say they both are about equal perhaps um, perhaps maybe those uh, you know that when you really pluck like a, a guitar string and maybe maybe there the softies will be slightly superior but as I say as I've said before before and I'll repeat it we are talking very, very small, you know, minor details here, because all of these IEMs are really very good. Um, as compared to the EJ, and let's let's get the EJ out here. And the reason why I put the EJ here was for its sense of um, of of, of um, well, three D. Let's put it that way. Um, so tension out and the EJ in. Um, you have more sense of space on the EJ. The EJ for some somehow just you know gives you more more space. But there is one thing that um, uh, you do notice across uh, across all of these um, IEMs, which is the fact that. Sorry guys, sorry guys. Uh, um, uh, my phone accidentally fell and uh, uh, I had to just do that little small break here. Anyway, carrying on what I was saying. Um, you know, the differences here are minimal. Um, and when I say that the EJ um, ha has more, more of this uh, 3D effect, um, yes, it does. But it's not a huge difference, you know. Um, you know, and and the one thing that I did um, notice uh, when when I was comparing all of these is that there's two there's two very distinct groups here. There's a group which is more of the of like more laid back um, presentation. Let's put it that way. Um, and then there's the more energetic group. Uh, Definitely the more energetic group, uh, and this again will have to do a lot with the amount of uh, power you have and so on and so forth. But the more energetic group definitely is 
the volume, uh, the neon, and and the, the and the and the oxygen. While the more laid back group is the variations and the EJ, um, and I think, well, for me at least, it, it, you know, it's just down to to these are easier to drive. Let's put it that way. While these ones they require a bit more power. Uh, and they scale tremendously well. Well, most of them do. I think probably out of all of them, the one that scales here, yeah, the or the one that sounds more on the edge when you really, you know, uh, crank it is is the oxygen. But they all scale very well. And the and the variations in the EJ, when you really give it some serious power, you know, they they, they don't they don't lose composure. They carry on. They everything goes up as one. You know, so. Your bass, your mids, your 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 highs, everything is continues rising very harmoniously, very equal. Um, while, for example, like I was saying on 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 the oxygen, and that is sometimes a problem for some people. You, you when you it it's, it starts like sounding like it's almost on the edge there, like something you know. Um, funny enough, the 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 awur, the, the neon. Um, being an all BA set and obviously much more sensitive and playing way louder than the rest of them, um, I, I never got that that feeling of 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 it kind of feeling like it's on the edge or anything. It, it's just that it gets too loud and that's why I have to lower it. Period. Um, but back to the volume, you know, um, the volume, and I and I, I'm I'm slightly lost here for words because. Like, as I've said already quite a few times, it is, all of these sets are very, very good. Very good. And there's really, uh, uh, you know, it's really difficult to kind of, oh, but this one, uh, uh, no. It, because so many other factors start coming into play. You know, what sort of music do you like listening? Do you like listening to rock, for example? For me, I don't think... I don't listen to a lot of rock, but personally, the little bit of amount of rock that I listened to, I didn't enjoy it in the soft years. I didn't like to listen to it in the soft years. It just didn't, you know, uh, sound engaging. Uh, with acoustic music, with uh, instrumental music, female voiced music, uh, for example, uh, um, Elephant from Carol Dubok sounds amazing, amazing. Female voices sound amazing on you, amazing. Um... Male voices sound amazing. So anything that has to do with voices sounds very, very good. Um, is it better than the others? It's just a different take. It's a different approach of doing it. That's why I said that for me, it's it's probably the best one plus two hybrid. And, and I mean, I, I, I can compare it with a few other hybrids if you guys want to. But out of the stuff that I have... Um, it, it is probably the best that I've ever heard in terms of a one plus two hybrid, or one plus something amount of uh, you know uh, hybrid. Um, it's just it, it is really really very very good. Um, and yeah, and that's basically it. I mean, technicalities wise, um, look, uh, detailed retrieval as I've said, details tremendous, really very good. Imaging, perfect. Um, soundstage, uh, I found that sometimes the soundstage um, could have been a little bit wider. It could have been a little bit wider. But again, I'm really, really nitpicking. I'm really trying to, you know, falter it. Um, soundstage, perfect. Um, timbre, tonality. As, as like I said, very very good. Uh, really, nothing that I, I can falter. Um, it, in a nutshell, in a nutshell, let's put it. Let me put it to you this way. In a nutshell, I consider this like a baby variations, or a, or a or a or a, a cheaper variations. Okay, in the sense that you get, if you like the variations, if you like its presentation, you will definitely like. The volumes presentation, in my opinion, definitely. Um, the biggest difference between the two that you notice very, you know, straight away is that you have more mid bass here than you do perceive to have here. 
Uh, and that's why sometimes on the variations, uh, some stuff can sound a little bit thin because of that apparent lack of enough mid bass, while maybe the reality is that it's got a lot of sub bass. Um, and that's it. I mean, there's really, you know, it, it's it's been I've 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 been listening to this for for countless hours over the last couple of days to try and get this out to you guys as, as quickly as I, I possibly could. And the the truth is, it's been a pleasure. I've enjoyed listening to the softiers thoroughly, uh, and as far as I'm concerned, it's it's a it's a wreck. Um, I am gonna probably do a, a second video comparing it to a few other IEMs because I think it really deserves it. But I'll wait to hear as well feedback from you guys um, on that on that aspect. Uh, but as compared to to these that I put out uh, in front of us, um, it, it stands its ground very well and uh, uh, can 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 show can show them a, a, a hell of, can give them a hell of a fight. Uh, and, and I think that's a, really, a, a good enough testament to to how impressed I am on on the volume. All right. Anyway, guys, thank you. And uh, like I said, please comment on the video. Let me know what you what you would like me to perhaps try and compare it to. I've got a few other IEMs that I can uh, get my hands on, um, and uh, I'll I'll definitely do it. All right. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye.